Hello everyone, my name is Primitiva, and welcome to a brand new mini-series, where I try to explain evolutionary terms through the use of the Pokémon world. Now, this isn't like my speculative evolution videos, but they are something to keep you all busy while I'm working on them, so consider it an expansion of those videos. And today I'm going to be explaining Convergent Evolution, so let's get started. This phenomenon is where species who aren't closely related to each other develop similar traits. And one of the most common examples is flight. I'm sure I don't even need to talk about how many Pokémon are capable of flight. These Pokémon evolved powered flight, probably for the same reason that the animals in our world did. No one else is really doing it, and the sky was for anyone to take. Like in real life, the bugs probably seized the skies first, you know, to escape from the predators. Then the rest followed for the same reason. Plus, they could snack on some yummy bugs. There's also the water. If you look at the whale Pokémon, and literally all the fish Pokémon, you'll notice that their bodies are very similar. This is because those types of bodies are very streamlined, and work really good in the water when swimming. Echolocation is another example. Whales and bats have evolved this to locate prey, so it probably plays a similar role in Pokémon. Now, while you can easily look at some of the real-life counterparts to Pokémon, there are some Pokémon that don't reflect anything we have in real life, such as hexapodal vertebrates. These exist in the world of Pokémon, but they don't in our world. So at one point, their common ancestor diverged into many others, and flight also seemed to be a common adaptation for these Pokémon, but some stayed on the ground. But there's also some strange Pokémon that seem to lose their limbs as they evolve, such as Lotad and Graveler, which likely evolved from another branch of hexapods that for some reason lose their extra limbs as they mature, possibly for self-defense until they're fully grown. Who knows, but it likely serves a purpose. Humanoid bodies are also something that have evolved multiple times as well. You have mammals, amphibians, and reptiles, all just walking around like people, for whatever reason. Perhaps to do with the higher level of sapiens Pokémon seem to have compared to animals. And if you think about it, Pokémon types are convergent too. Sure, in a magical way, but you have a Pokémon like Typhlosion, which is a mammal, and then you have a Pokémon like Blaziken, which is a bird, but they both possess fire types, meaning that the fire type and types in general are analogous. Even if you look at Typhlosion and Rapidash, they're both mammals, but it's also analogous because, well, not all horse Pokémon are a fire type. So it's still convergent as well when you compare those two. Why it evolved is unclear, but it helped the Pokémon survive, and that's good enough. You might argue that Pokémon types aren't like this, because Mew, who is thought to be the ancestor of all Pokémon, can learn basically every move. However, most of that is through TMs, and the Mew living nowadays? Well, it's probably not the same as it was way back then. After all, they are a species who used to live in South America, and were thought to be extinct. And perhaps Psychic type was the original type, and was quite moldable into all the other types. And Psychic Pokémon nowadays? Well, they may have just retained their original Psychic type, or maybe even enhanced it into a new one. There's much more I'd like to cover, but unfortunately I do intend this to be a mini-series, so I can't keep rambling on forever. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And if you want more videos like this, I highly suggest checking out my Speculative Evolution playlist, where I try and make Pokémon real through real-life evolution and natural selection. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, and let's get the YouTube algorithm going crazy for this series. Subscribe if you want more content like this, and be sure to hit that little bell to keep being updated. And if you know someone who happens to be interested in this type of content, please do share. If you want to help support the channel even more, consider checking out my Patreon. It's only one buck a month, and it really helps me create videos like this. It's in the description down below. And with that being said, I hope you all have a good day, night, or morning, and as always, take care!